And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time to drop the hammer. Oh, it's going to be fast as we already got three wide back in the field. Up front, three wide to number three spot onto the back straightaway. Up front, it is Jason McDougal looking around the top shelf. Chase stocking down low on the racetrack. Race leader for lap number one is going to be McDougal. Flashes across the right, goes to the wall. Now turn one to two, crossover, diamond maneuver. Three wide for the number two spot momentarily down the back straightaway. And here comes stocking right back at McDougal down in turn number three and four. Slide job across the nose. Lap number two is going to be stocking the 32 car. McDougal slams another one on him down in the corner, wheels up down the straightaway into their number three and four for Chase Stock into number 32. He's trying to get back to the point. He'll lead lap number three as well. Back in the eye, Kevin Thomas Jr. a little shot in the shorts for the number 12 guard crossover out of Stock and McDougal trying to get the inside almost touch tires. Here comes the mean green 69, contact the around goes Baloo. Caution flag coming out. Caution flag comes out. It's up front, it is still a tremendous battle taking place. Lap traffic lies ahead, stocking down the inside. KTJ out to the wall, side by side. And now give the nod, slight advantage to the number 69 car and Kevin Thomas Jr. Stocking back to the number two spot. KTJ coming back after the points lead or coming after a points lead and a national chase for the championship as Brady Bacon starting to find some throttle. Three wide back behind. It's down the inside, stocking back to the race lead across the stripe. Picked him off at top across. Brady Bacon, the 99 car, popping onto the scene in the number three spot around the outside of Darlin and the 36D cars catfishing around the bottom. Both of them working out of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Moveover flags coming out for lap traffic, which is hot and heavy for your race leaders. And now Kevin Thomas Jr. holds the uh, top spot yet again. And Baloo's coming. Robert Ballou is coming to 12 cars, elbows up, out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Went to the tail, now works his way into the number five spot. Diamond Maneuver, here comes Sunshine for the race lead. This will be his 10th feature event win on the season. Being pick off KTJ, he'll drive it across the nose onto the back straightaway. Spins the tires through the slick and KTJ closes. McDougal goes back to the top shelf, 71 B car. Ballou now technically into the number four spot out turn number four. From 22nd to fourth, for the madman, Robert Ballou, as he'll work the wheel out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Here goes McDougal up to the top shelf. Ballou's going to follow around the outside. Big run down the back straightaway. Look out. The door got shut on him. Courtney went to the wall. McDougal had a run in the 71P contact with Grant down the inside. McDougal to the number two spot. Around the outside. Kevin Thomas Jr., you got some company. Here comes JD. Powering hard down into turn number three and four. Looking out wide for McDougal. Thomas down the inside. You got a new race leader this time across. Played right into his hands. And that number two spot. Look out, Slider almost got into him. McDougal got around the outside quick. Picks up the number one spot back again. As we'll roll the threat onto the front straightaway. White flag next time by. And Jason McDougal setting the pace on it. Kevin Thomas Jr. trying to come back again to the inside. He is elbows up to restart right to his favor for the Broken Arrow Oklahoma runner. He'll glance off the back straightaway wall, but it is going to be the Dave Phillips Motorsports number 71P to victory lane here in history books for the first visit to Pedro Auto Parts Raceway at I-55.